So I've been racking my brain about this new iPad Air 4 that I picked up. I don't know, I've had some mixed feelings about where it sits, who should buy it, if it's really an iPad Pro killer, that type of stuff. So in this video, I um, wanted to talk about that. Guys, my name is Gene, I'm Jax, and on this channel, we talk tech. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to stay up to date when I drop new videos each week. Now, with that said, let's talk about the iPad Air 4. First and foremost, this is a fantastic iPad. I think that Apple actually hit this one on the nail. Now, this iPad itself uh, is uh, the 64 gig model. The cost of this iPad was $599.99. What I liked about the iPad was the fact that it retained close enough to the same size as the iPad Pro. I like the 11 inch, so with this 10.9 liquid retina screen, I thought it was a really good a really good middle ground. Now this iPad itself does not come with ProMotion as you would find on the iPad Pro. If we're talking size, the iPad Pro itself has a larger starting size of 128 gigs. The fact that they kept the charger was really nice. So that's really, really nice to see. I do like the fact that this iPad does come with USB type C. I was really actually skeptical about Touch ID. Touch ID actually has a very good place in there. In comparison to the iPad 2020, these are the 20, these are the only two that have the touch ID. Now, obviously the touch ID on the iPad is placed on the screen, on the bezel of the screen, whereas the touch ID on this guy is placed on the top and is also the power button for the iPad. I think this is by far one of the best touch ID systems that I've ever used. It handled it like a champ. Every single time I literally rest my finger on there, it unlocked the phone within probably a millisecond. And the only action that you have to do after that point is just swipe up to unlock your phone. I thought they hit it on the nail in terms of placement. The argument could be made that with the iPad Pros, you could be covering the camera where you would, where the face ID would be. Now that's actually a benefit of this iPad versus the other iPad. And in most cases, um, I found myself with the iPad Pro, I found myself covering the camera oftentimes and had to just kind of move my hand out the way and then swipe up. I didn't really notice the difference between, between ProMotion and this variant that does not have the ProMotion. You're gonna notice that on as you swipe through the pages or as you use the Apple Pencil itself. The iPad Pro itself does have the LiDAR scanner. It does have the camera upgrades and the improvements on there. It does have the ProMotion, it does have the large your uh, starting storage size. Now, the price between those two is $200. If I am in the market for an iPad, I would be more geared towards the iPad Pro. Now, for an average consumer, this iPad is actually more than enough. The iPad that I actually do recommend for a lot of uh, consumers is the iPad 2020, which is an excellent buy at 329 or 399. I would always tell someone to go get the iPad 2020 because it's just, you're never going to use an iPad like, like some people think that an iPad is gonna be used. So this is not a computer. You will not convince me that this is a computer. At 599, this is a sweet spot. This is the most I think you should ever pay for an iPad. 600 bucks is the most you should ever pay for an iPad. I do think that this is an exceptional, an exceptional buy at 599. If you are uh, someone who's looking for an iPad, someone who wants the latest uh, chip, the A14 neural chip, someone who wants to be able to use the Apple Pencil too, someone who wants the Touch ID, wants to be able to have a full screen. So that is a verdict. I definitely think that this is an excellent buy. I definitely think that if you are someone who is considering buying an iPad, to consider this as your first iPad. So that's the video, guys. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, is this an iPad that you are considering buying? And what do you like about it? What's uh, some of the perks that you hope to use in the iPad? I would definitely love to hear it uh, down in the comments below. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And until my next video, peace.